Hey, we're back. Okay, now this is part two. If you missed part one, go to my profile and check out part one. Uh, part two, what did happen? Me and Alex were going down to check on the filming set. I hope this is where I left off. Anyway, we went down to check on the cast interview set. We got about halfway down the stairs, and the door to the stairwell to the basement of the jail slammed shut. Now, I don't mean it just closed. I mean this sucker slammed hard, like someone had to physically really slam it. The only other two people were in the kitchen, but there's no way in the time we had left from the kitchen and gotten to the stairwell, they would have been able to get there without us noticing. Just one second, someone's coming. Holy crap, my friend Alex just showed up. Alex, how you doing? Alex, we were on the stairwell going down to this. This is the vlog. I, I got scared crapless, okay? We were halfway down the stairs, and the door, tell me, that door slammed hard. When it slammed shut, it slammed hard. Meh. Alex actually slept in the jail Saturday night. Not just the jail, but the jail cell. He slept in a jail cell Saturday night. Now, he... <laughs> it's like a prediction of the future for you, isn't it? <laughs> so, Alex got to help the makeup artist, and he got to be the test uh, test dummy, I guess you could say. Emphasis on the dummy. Just kidding. Um, for the squibs. A squib is basically, in the movies, when you see someone just get shot, and the blood squirts out, that's a squib. It's a little, little uh, blood balloon collected to s connected to some sort of electrical or small explosive charge, which just sprays blood. But, <laughs> thanks. Alex got to help uh, set that up. And so, um, Saturday night, my lower back, and everyone's like, oh, you're too scale scared to, to uh, sleep in the jail. Okay, real quick, ghost hunting is one of my hobbies. I'm not as scared to sleep in the jail, but my... No, they weren't. They were they were cast iron slabs. Yeah, but anyway, my back started to tighten up later uh, in Saturday evening, so I ended up sleeping in the car. Plus, Cody, I love the kid to death, but he was a bundle of nerves this whole weekend. Like, I, he had forgotten the jail <laughs> was haunted until about, what, two-thirds of the way through the car trip down? And then I reminded him that the jail was haunted. He's like, I hate you. I will get you back for this. Now then, um, Cody... What was it Sunday afternoon? We went up to the attic with Michelle and Alex to film, see if we could catch any like orbs or anything on the the behind the scenes camera. And we're walking around, and Cody happened to step on a bad board. He fell into a closed off staircase because, like I told you, the jail is separated because the sheriff and his family usually slept in the jail, and then the, the it was separated so the convicts, if they did break out, they couldn't get into the front side of the jail without the lock and uh, without the key to get the lock for the door. So Cody stepped on a bad board and ended up falling down, oh, thigh deep into the attic ceiling. The guy who owned the jail was really cool about it. He's like, yeah, I know, that's one of the stairways that went up into the attic from the jail side. So he, that was the funny little blooper. And the best thing was he had the camera on him. So you see this camera panning around and all of a sudden it's like, Foop! down to floor level, and then you can hear the board crack and everything. I asked Sandy to make sure that was in the blooper, so hopefully that will be. <sighs> Excuse me. But we made good time getting back from from Hartford. We made a, what was it, it was supposed to be a two and a half hour trip. We did it in a three and a half hour trip. We did it in two and a half. Two and a half. It would have been sooner, but I was actually doing the speed limit. Yeah, that's kind of the good thing. You want to definitely do the speed limit. But we discovered something that Lafayette, Indiana has the worst gas station placement ever. There's a Meyer gas station, and then for like, what, three miles, there's no other gas stations. But and it's right by an exit, too, for the expressway. It's right by an ex exit for the expressway. There's like no other gas stations. It's just horrible placement. But yeah, so we got back. I went to Auburn. I recorded that one vlog before I left. And um, I am going to do something in homage here to the cast and the crew. Especially my, quote, girlfriend for the weekend, Lady J. Um, I have vodka right here. I'm not a big fan of vodka. I prefer rum. Yes, there's vodka in there. Smirnoff apple vodka. And I guess Alex is going to do a cheers with me. This is our homage to the cast and the crew of Bad Girl Venom. It was an amazing, amazing weekend. We learned tons of stuff, and it was absolutely awesome getting to hang out with everyone who was involved, cast and crew, and even... The Toothless Ninja.
The Toothless Ninja was this creepy old guy that lived in Hartford City. He had one tooth, one, on the bottom of his mouth, and it was like this thing was ready to fall. Like every time he talked, it wiggled. But I had an, I got stuck in an hour and a half conversation with him. I, all I did was say howdy. That's all I did. Because I was raised, you, say, you see someone, you say hi. Let me check the time. Okay, 512. You see someone, you say hi. And I got trapped in this conversation with this guy. And he was a little crazy. Like, everything he said was way out there. Like, apparently in this jail that we were filming at, they were hiding secrets from World War II in the attic. So it was interesting. But you're what, you're, you're, you're messing up the toast. What are you doing? Drinking hard. Anyway, okay, we're going to get this done, so I can get this uploaded, because I know there's a couple people waiting for this, but, uh, whoever's at the door, hold on real quick, in the middle of filming something. Um, here's a toast to the cast and the crew of Bad Girl Venom, and to everyone who's been supportive and encouraging through this time, who's encouraged me and everyone else involved in this. Here's our toast to you guys. Oh, that, that wasn't a good clink. There you go. Cheers, kids. Ha! <laughs> I hate vodka. Blah, blah. It's some sort of lime. Blah. Smearing off lime vodka. <laughs> Not a big fan. That is nasty. But it's free right now, so. You're going to have to help me buy a pack. Alex is wanting one of my cigarettes, and I'm almost out. So. Just a second. Oh, bugger, that match didn't light. Like I said, I'm hyper. It's really weird for me. So, kids. Oh, spark on my shirt. All right. So, kids, this is Strong Plaza and Alex. Say hi, Alex. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? This is Strong Plaza and Alex, kids, signing off. Saying much love, blessed be, and walk the right path. Excuse me. Look for a vlog Thursday night, Friday afternoon. Thereabouts. Um, like I said, heading back to Auburn tomorrow for three days to work and get things ready for the move out there. Um, as far as everything else goes, uh, pretty normal here. So, like I said, I will catch you guys later. Have whoa, have an amazing, amazing week. And, yeah, I think that about does it. Catch you guys later.